In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create schedules with shift changes according to pay periods. I did this recently for a gentleman and his pay periods, they got paid on the 10th and the 25th and he wanted them to change the rotating shift on those days. And so I'm going to go, I'm on macros here and I'm going to go and it's called rotate is my program and I'm going to run it. And I'm just, I just tab for simplicity's sake, um, the off days being Saturday and Sunday. Now, so you're, you're thinking um, the 11th to 25th, well, you could just uh, do 15 days and that works just fine, except for things like February, um, the, the time between the 25th and the 11th is much, or the time between the end of the month, which is the 25th and the, uh, the 10th of the next of the next one is much shorter because of the there's only the 28 days in um, in February so that you're three days short to hit the 10th of the next month. So it's based on it's based on the date of the the day, the day number of the month that where the shift changes are. And so it happily goes along. And so every time we've got an 11th, we shift change. And every time we hit um, a 25th, we ch shift change. So let me show you how I did this. So I have called my script uh, rotate and I'm doing the R for rows and C for columns and type of shift being the, um, the afternoon, morning or nights. And so it's, and then, um, month equals one being that we're starting with January. Okay, so in all of this, what I'm doing is I'm calling another subscript here. So I have the first shift, which is from the first half of the month and the second shift, which is the second half of the month. Now I've done that for each of them and then um, for each of the sets. Now let me go look, show you what the first and the second shift looks like. Now the first shift is easy because it's from the 11th to the 25th. And so basically you're just counting the 15 days. And so basically you say W date, which is the work, what I call working date. And so that's the date um, that is right here uh, on the um, on the sheet saying it, now if it's that date and it's the start date is the date serial number. And so we're going to we've we've taken the month, which is one. And then we're saying uh, 2022 and we're going month, which is one and then starting at the 10th and the end date for this is uh, date serial number 22 month and then 26th and while working date is greater than start date so if it's greater than 10 because we start our shift on the 11th and then um then you're going to do with with date sheet value and then if date equals end date then go to end e and sheet one R select if active cell is empty so that if there's holidays written in there you don't do anything and active cell value equals type shift so that's either uh m a or n and active cell offset you go to the next cell or if it is if it is there is something and then you offset and go to the next empty one so this is pretty easy for the first shift now the second shift is a little bit more difficult. The second shift is the end of the month, right? So you're going once more, we're looking at the working date and the end date and the mid date. The mid date is basically the end of the month that you're on. So if the date serial number equals uh, the month plus one, so you're looking for the next month, the first day. And so what you're doing is for the first half, you're going do while end date is is greater than or equal to end date. Um, and this one says 373, but I'm going to change it to 92 because we only have 92 in here. So if um, with work date sheet cells RC value, if work date is greater than or equal to mid date, then go to next one else. Um, Sheet one's RC select. If active cell is empty, then you type the type shift, which is the uh, MA or N. 
And then if it's if there's something there, then you go to offset. Now for the other half of it, so that's the first half until you get to the end of the month. And the second half of it, you go, um, now you're gonna go on to the next month. So if it's January, it's gonna be February. And then you're doing the same thing here. Um, early date is uh, the new month now is the first and start date is uh, December or is 2022 month, which is two and February, which is 10th. Now do while it's greater than or equal to the early date, do all is greater than the first. And then um, um, if, if work date is greater than start, then go to ND. So this is, it's pretty tricky, but this is how you do. So you you are basing your shift changes on work or on pay periods. I will of course include all the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.